Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mark with Limo Marketer here. And today I wanna to talk about what the difference is between a, a website and a landing page. Now for some of you, this might be beginner type material, but I wanted to uh, make this video because, well, the other day I had talked to a brand new operator, someone who actually is, um, I believe an Uber black driver and he was kind of confused and was asking me, hey Mark, can I use uh, the landing page as my website? And so here are the main differences. So with a website, what you're trying uh, to accomplish with a website, number one, it's kind of like a business card, right? And there's something about a website that makes you feel like you have more of a legitimate, real business. But really what a website is meant to do is capture more leads and bookings for your business. And what you really wanna do eventually is search engine optimization. That means you build your website in a certain way and uh, acquire links and you try to rank your site organically. Now, um, on a search result page, you're going to uh, let's see, you're gonna see ads at the top, right? There's usually four. Then there's the map. They call it the map pack. There's usually three listings in here. Sometimes there's the fourth, which is an ad. And then the organic listings are below that. And you know, there could be 10, 50, it depends on how you have your page set up. Uh, but with a website, where you're trying to rank is in these two areas. Now, these are actually both organic technically, um, but the map pack is also called Google My Business. You can sign up at google.com slash business, get a free Google My Business um, page, which I highly recommend you do. And when you have that, you'll show up um, when someone is close by you, um, you will actually show up on the map depending on the area you're in and how well your website ranks, you might not be shown in the map. But um, for a website, we're really trying to get in one of these two areas here. And over the long term, there really is no better return on investment than search engine optimization. All of the largest companies typically that I've seen and work with in all of these markets across the US and Canada, most of the largest businesses are ranked high in Google organically. Okay, so they're showing up in the map, they're showing up in the organic listings. Now with SEO, it takes time. It can take six, nine, 12 months to start getting any sort of results. Um, in terms of results, I'm just talking about leads, right? That's really what we're going for here. But that's what you want a website for. It's so that eventually uh, you can rank it organically. And when someone clicks on the link uh, here or in the map, you're not actually paying anything. Now the ad section, um, we can use uh, a website or a landing page. Uh, technically the definition of a landing page is any page you land on after you click on a link. Uh, but how a lot of internet marketers use landing pages is they use services like click funnels or unbounce or lead pages. And it makes it very easy to set up a page. And the only thing you're trying to do with that landing page is you're trying to capture leads from it. So when someone clicks on your ad and they, they go to the page, it's always one page. There's not links to other pages you're trying to get them to book online or call you or initiate a live chat or fill out a form. Now, like I said, you can use a website um, in the ad section as well. They just need to be set up correctly so that it's very simple when someone lands on your page, they can find what they're looking for. And many times that's just a price, so they need to be able to find your phone number, the live chat, um, or a quote request form. That's really the most important thing. And then finally, uh, with these landing pages, for instance, what most of my clients use, I use a service called Unbounce, and so I've got hundreds of landing pages in it. 
uh, but those pages are not intended to rank in these areas here. So I do have small operator clients that started from Uber Black. They never even built a website and um, they just literally use the landing page as their website. And look, that's completely fine. And to be frank, I think the mistake a lot of smaller operators make is, oh, I've got to get a website. I've got to get business cards. I've got to get a logo. They focus on all these things that, yes, you do want to get eventually, but the number one most important thing is getting new clients and getting those as quickly as possible for as little money as possible. That's why when a new operator comes to me, maybe they only have one or two vehicles um, and they want SEO. I want a website, I want SEO. I say, I'm not gonna let you do that because it would not make sense because it might take three or four months to just start getting leads and you don't wanna spend six, eight, 10 grand and four months of time and barely get any leads. No, what you need is you need an immediate return on your marketing dollars. And that's why we set up a landing page, we run Google ads or we run Bing ads. And that's really, if you're a new operator, where you wanna start. Now, if you are bringing in 30, $40,000 a month, then maybe you look at SEO. It could even be a little less. It really just depends on your business, your profitability, uh, but you wanna have enough money coming in to where you won't miss whatever the SEO costs. Most legitimate agencies are going to be 1,500 um, to depending on the market up to three or $4,000 a month, right? So it's not cheap to do and that's why I highly recommend that if you're a newer operator, don't worry about um, SEO for now, even a website, because oftentimes when you sign up uh, for SEO, a lot of people don't know this, but many times we need to do a website redesign anyways, because typically if you just hire anyone to build your site and it's just a web designer and they're not an SEO, they're not going to build the site in a way that makes it easy for the search engines to crawl. So whenever we're bringing on a new SEO client, typically the first thing we do 95% of the time, we've only not done it with one client, um, is we rebuild a website and we use WordPress. And I highly recommend if you're hiring an SEO agency or working with an SEO agency, have them do it in WordPress because it just, that's what most agencies use. So there's other platforms that can work, but the problem is what if you wanna stop working with that SEO agency and go to another agency and you're on a different platform other than WordPress. Most agencies use WordPress, and so uh, really think hard um, about investing in a website that isn't going to be set up by someone who knows SEO, uh, because eventually you'll probably just need to get the site rebuilt. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you got some value, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.